Hey, what's up, everybody? Real quick message before the video starts. Uh, due to some unfortunate circumstances and something that I can't fix, YouTube is going to be shutting down this channel. So I started a new channel. I put the link in the description down below the video. If y'all could, roll over there, go subscribe. I'm going to start uploading videos to that channel in about two weeks. So we're going to keep rolling. We're not going to stop. We're not going to let YouTube shut us down. Thanks. Member of the Rules Committee from Texas, uh, Mr. Roy. Gentleman from Texas is recognized for three minutes. Thank the Speaker. I thank the Chairman, the gentleman from Oklahoma, who is a gentleman, um, giving me time despite the fact I voted against the rule in the Rules Committee. I respect that. I respect it immensely so that we can have a full and open debate here on the floor of the House. I listened to the gentleman from Massachusetts wax on talking about governing. Well, we don't govern, Mr. McGovern. We represent. That's what we're supposed to do anyway, is represent the people of this country, fed up with a government that is now 40 percent bigger since the beginning of COVID, a government barreling towards $36 trillion of debt, and an absolute devastating burden on the future of this country, on our children and our grandchildren, who are not going to be able to afford homes, not be able to afford to go to school, not be able to afford food, groceries, Talk about food programs. I don't hear a whole hell of a lot about what we're doing to devastate American families with rampant inflation because we keep spending money we don't have. To my colleagues on this side of the aisle, my beef isn't that I don't understand the struggle with the negotiators against that kind of reasoning. My beef is that you cut a deal that shouldn't have been cut. The fact is, at best, we have a two-year spending freeze that's full of loopholes and gimmicks that would allow for increased funding for the federal bureaucracy in order to achieve a $4 trillion increase in the debt by January 1 of 2025. $4 trillion. We have permitting reform, which might have some good elements in it, but the problem is you have the Biden administration saying it accelerate implementation of the historic clean energy and environmental justice investments in the Inflation Reduction Act, the very policies destroying the American way of life and making them unable to afford energy and afford their food. We have watered down work requirements. The CBO just said will actually increase the cost of SNAP by $2 billion. A supposed 1% automatic top, top line a reduction in spending at the end of the year that will actually make a Christmas omnibus more likely. A 2% cut to Biden's $80 billion IRS expansion. 2% of that $80 billion expansion. Administrative pay-go, I'm told. We're not going to do the RAINS Act. We're not going to constrain the regulatory state. We're going to do a waivable administrative pay-go. Great. We'll pass a bill next week. Yay us. It'll die in the Senate. Why aren't we using this leverage? A complete punt to SCOTUS on the Biden administration's unfair half-trillion-dollar student loan bailout, billions in COVID dollars left untouched to fund things like vaccines and COVID-19 testing, and the loss of our biggest leverage points to force Biden to actually secure the southern border. I encourage my colleagues to vote no on the rule and to oppose this legislation. I yield back. Hey, before you click on the next video, if y'all could do me a big favor and hit that like button. The algorithm loves it, and so do I, because it helps promote these videos and get the message out about what our government has been doing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, because every time I put out a video, you want to know about it, right? Thanks again, and have a good one. See you on the next one. Peace.